All right, guys, let's see how easy it is to install Istio using uh, MicroKS. I've already did it. As you can see from the status, Istio is enabled. Uh, otherwise, you can do it with uh, MicroKS enable uh, Istio. Afterwards, I've done uh, here a constant monitoring of uh, uh, MicroKS kubectl, uh, watching all the namespaces. This is with uh, the watch in front of uh, this command. So it refreshes every two seconds uh, the output of uh, uh, this command. Once you enable Istio, you know that it will create uh, lots of pods and services. So you need to wait a little bit while they are uh, being initialized and are in the status of running. Next, uh, we'll apply uh, this uh, file uh, book info YAML, which uh, has inside uh, several uh, services. So if we would like uh, to see uh, this file with double get minus O and then uh, the address and uh, we can see what's inside of the file. Uh, here we have uh, service of the details of the bookings. We have uh, service accounts, deployments and some images which are uh, downloaded. So also we have another service for the ratings. It's completely distributed application and everything is decoupled. Also we have review service. Um, we have uh, some replicas here defined. If you are interested, you can uh, take a look uh, more closely at uh, this uh, uh, file. The point is that uh, all those will be able to communicate between each other and afterwards exposed to internet via Istio. We can uh, see the services uh, with uh, MicroKTS uh, kubectl uh, get services and uh, we see that we have for the details, ratings, reviews and product page uh, three different uh, services with associated uh, containers uh, to them. And basically uh, we can uh, grab directly something uh, from the product page uh, service by entering into the uh, pod which has a label of ratings and uh, running the curl command uh, from this pod to access the uh, product page uh, and grabbing the title from there. Uh, so the, those are the contents of the title. This means that uh, services can uh, reach each other. In the meantime, you can use uh, Istio control analyze uh, to see if you have some um, errors or warnings and to fix them um, in your Istio um, configuration and uh, workloads. Let's try to browse our um, Istio ingress. So from there to see the exposed services. Uh, again, a long command, which will uh, try to list the current uh, port on which the service is listening. We are reaching the Istio system namespace and then uh, we are grabbing the Istio ingress gateway service and we would like to understand the port. Uh, so uh, we are querying uh, via the JSON path and we are grabbing uh, from the uh, JSON uh, format uh, the node port and this is the node port we are interested in. Uh, next we will do the same for the uh, host uh, this uh, ingress uh, gateway is uh, running and that's the command uh, we are just grabbing this time uh, the host IP uh, here is the address so now uh, we'll try to browse this address on this port uh, to see whether we can browse the application so that's the URL and we're trying to browse the product page and if we hit enter and wait a little bit, we'll see that we are uh, inside of the uh, deployed application. And uh, this has been uh, managed entirely by Istio. For more information, I recommend uh, you to visit the official website of Istio where you can find uh, good tutorials on uh, the topic.